fly home, buddy. I work alone. Chapter 111 is what I expected from the last chapter. Of course, these students are still students, but they have to hold their grudge for another time. Case in point, Inasa, he actually shows why he hates Shoto and Endeavor cannot have this grudge if these problems are going to happen at a certain case. By the end of this chapter, it actually makes you feel like, yeah, you get the idea of what this whole approach is even about. And I really like this chapter. I find this chapter to be more on grounded level, more realistic if you ask me because of what happened with these characters the beginning of the chapter may come across as a time killing unnecessary moment however i found it to be a fitting tie-in to the aspect of the last chapter it demonstrated that the future heroes aren't the only ones that are pressured by the event it's shown that the headquarters are forced to hand in the thought of these students to pass and become a placeholder so to say for all my sudden retirement in fact it's more about able to fill in a need of what's right at the time. It's worth mentioning that they will place them in a faction like a group rather than relying on one man to fill in all my open slot because he is one of a kind and there is a huge power gap for these students. That tells you how desperate things are becoming in the way to the point they are really praying for these students to learn right away on handling the rescue operations. These small details are a nice touch to let us know that they everyone are on a same boat in a different class. Class. Shoto was the main focus of this chapter and it was neatly presented showing his struggle not just with the mission but with himself. The cross between the old and new Shoto was slowly showing as the temptation keeps on brewing by Inasa who I called it that this is going to be a bad mishap and it was going to happen in this chapter. Inasa reason to hate Shoto and Denver come across a petty yet fitting to his character as well as the storytelling of the scene. Shoto did start off raw in the series. Inasa was reminded back to his childhood when he was attempted to get an autograph from Endeavor. Unfortunately for him, he was basically shug away because Endeavor is always an asshole. I really thought of Incredibles from that moment. It just really feels like that is the influence behind this writing. I wanted to be surprised and I really like that kind of fact that at least he didn't turn into Syndrome. I'm just glad it didn't went to the dark side of that route. The struggle with Shoto was well informed to show that he still has problems on his own and not able to escape from his connection with his father as well as his deep hatred the panel with his close-up after being told that he's the same as his father was striking as well as his dialogue you can really sense that he's doing the best but you such just keep on pressing tells you who is a better hero who is the guy that really is more focused even though one guy is really trying to provoke because he just wants to show that he's never changing the art in this chapter was pretty good I really like the design of gang orca also likes the aura of this coolness that he has as well as the fact that he can be intimidated even in an exam that he's not even a legit villain the attack is based off a killer whale which means whatever the creature can do it can do anywhere that's pretty neat the art also showcased a lot of good angle shots of the expressions from these characters including Shoto who is doing the hardest to stay calm. It had a good end to the chapter with Deku who really looks upset at them because they are the future heroes and yet they are failing as reliable ones. He is ahead of all of them when it comes to understanding the fundamental of heroism and I admire that. It is rather interesting to end it there to see how he's going to push them to drop the hate and get back to focus. Deku is the one guy that understands what is priority understand that there may be some hatred between other heroes but that's not the focus it should be it should hold their personal grudges and it should continue to do what it needs to do as a hero this chapter was pretty good as the exam is really getting out of hand with these students can't hold a grudge being a villain to another and all led to a true born hero Deku to step in and snap out of them let's just hope we don't get syndrome out of Inasa chapter 111 or 111 Gets an eight.
You know, some reason to hate Shoto is a petty reason, but you could understand because moments like these are something that can be very dramatized to these kids when it comes looking up to a hero, looking up to an idol. You know that they are heavily influenced by them, and whenever they betray by them, whenever something that really awestruck them, they can really change drastically. You actually hear that in real life. It's a sad thing. I really admire the manga cut really input that kind of characteristic, and it's just something that I like to see how this is going to resolve. Hopefully Hopefully not too quick and hopefully not too long. Either way, this is something I'm very interested to see how it's resolved. My thoughts are told. Don't let yours on hold. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.